The Queen's granddaughter, daughter of Princess Anne, attended both the Friday and Saturday of Cheltenham's November meeting, according to Royal Central. During a break in proceedings, she shared a packet of Maltesers with Sir Tony McCoy and Mick Fitzgerald. The pair both offered Mrs. Tyndall some of their Maltesers, which she was either too polite or too peckish to refuse. Earlier this year, Mrs. Tyndall gave birth to her third child with Mike Tyndall, a boy who the couple named Lucas Philip Tyndall. The child is 22nd in line. Next month, Cheltenham will host the international racing event which Mrs. Tyndall is most likely to attend. These two days of racing are famous for jump racing, with Cheltenham itself sometimes referred to as the home of jump racing, of which Mrs. Tyndall is known to be particularly fond. Mrs. Tyndall is an Olympic medal holder for the British equestrian team. She won a silver medal in the 20 Olympics, which was presented to her by her mother. Last year, Princess Anne told Vanity Fair that her daughter was at natural when it comes to horse racing, given that both her parents were equestrians. In the same year, Mrs. Tyndall was appointed as a director of Cheltenham Racecourse. She is reported to have attended most major race meetings. In a statement on the Jockey Club website, Mrs. Tyndall said upon her appointment, I'm passionate about horse racing, particularly on the jumps side, and the absolute pinnacle of that is Cheltenham. Racing is simply the most exciting sport and it's open to all. Sunday will bring the third and final day of Cheltenham's current race meeting. Meanwhile, other members of the royal family are attending public events to commemorate Remembrance Day. Prince Charles stepped in for his mother in leading the country during the National Service of Remembrance at the Cenotaph. The Queen was forced not to attend the service as she had sprained her back. Buckingham Palace said she was disappointed at having missed the service.